What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Toyo, and I'm here to do a reading for you guys. So hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for the likes and subscribes thus far. And if you would like a private reading by me, hit me at my email at itoyel at icloud.com, okay? The prices are in the description box down below. Let's get into this video. Let's go. Go and take a little trip. It's such a future with me. Go and take a little dip. Go and take a little dive. Get that energy right We gon' get it together The the car, the cars The key clarity The cars, the cars The key what you need Alright, part one. So, how do you shock and surprise others? Hit that like and subscribe button. I'm gonna read you my channel messages and then I'll pull the cards, okay? So, part one, you guys really shock and surprise others because you are not a toxic parent. You guys are actually a really good parent here. For those of you who have children, others of you guys, you could work with children um, and you can have like fur babies here, okay? But people are really shocked and surprised at how good you are with children, how good you are with your children here, okay? A lot of you guys, you are uh, practicing gentle parenting. Uh, you don't really like to curse at your children like that yell at them for no reason um you don't hit your children things of that nature but that really shocks and surprises others because perhaps you came from a family where they didn't really do gentle parenting or perhaps people are not really used to people doing gentle parenting in your area here okay you really shock and surprise people because you could have quit a job um and it seems like you are in a better position here okay so some of you guys you could have quit a job um or some of you guys, you could have quit a position, but it's like some of you guys now are managers. Some of you guys are the owners of something. Some of you guys, you have your own business. You take out how it resonates. But people are really shocked that you really quit doing a job that you used to do all the time or did you put a lot of work into and then you started to do something else and you seem to be doing really, really good from there, okay? Like I said, some of you guys are really in lead positions or leader-like positions here if you are not your own boss. Um, how do you shock and surprise others? Um, people are shocked and surprised by you because you actually really treat the people that you love. You give them gifts here. You like to spoil the people that you love. All right. So maybe it's more so about the gifts that you give. Like what? How one bought you a car if you had it like that? Like if you got it like that, people definitely can get it from you here if you love them, if, the, if you have love for them here, okay? So it's something about the gifts that you give or the way that you spoil people. If you're like, okay, let's go to the store. Oh, you can get whatever you want. You're good, okay? But people feel like, dang, you definitely are a, a spoiler here um, and that you definitely give really good gifts here. Um, how do you shock and surprise people? Somebody saw your bank account and they felt like your bank account was really fast. Um, they felt like you was balling. I feel like people are really shocked about whatever they saw when it comes to your money, your bank account. For some of you guys, it's not necessarily your money, your bank account. This could also be like subscriber accounts or some type of sudden growth in something that you have. But for some of you guys, somebody saw your bank account. Others of you guys, like I said, this would be subscribers. This would be fans. This would be a number of something that you have. But people see you growing. They're like, damn, Power One is doing excellent. Like Power One is wealthy. Power One is abundant. And whatever it is that they saw here, they was like, how that one is balling, bruh. Okay. Um, how do you shock and surprise people? Yeah, I feel like people you shock and surprise people when you have to end up cussing somebody out. So some of you guys, like I said, it goes back to the child thing. You cuss somebody out about your kids and that really shocked and surprised other people. And others of you guys, you don't curse at all, okay? You're like, you barely curse. You guys do not have a potty mouth for some of you guys. Um, and people are shocked and surprised when they hear you cursing or they hear you say a cuss word or the fact that you might have cussed somebody out. Some of y'all really had to put somebody in their place. And I'm hearing this about your children or about children here, all right? Um, now, why are people shocked and surprised by you? Yeah, I'm getting you guys are very protected. For some of you guys, somebody cussed, like your parent might have cussed somebody out about you. So you have to take it how it resonates. Um, but you are very, very protected. People are also, you are either one, you're very protected or two, you're very protective or it could be both. Okay. But people are really shocked when they see how protected or protective you are. 
Um, how do you shock and surprise people? So at one point in time, some of you guys could have shaved your hair. You could have cut your hair off. You take it how it resonates. Um, but I'm getting that really shocked and surprised people because maybe you have really beautiful hair. Some of you guys had really long hair, okay? Um, but you really shocked and surprised people because they didn't expect you to cut your hair or to shave your hair off or something of that nature. Um, and for some of you guys, like I said, it's some time ago that you did this. Some of you guys, you could have did the big chop, but you really shocked and surprised people when you let go of your hair for some reason here, okay? Um, now, you guys shock and surprise people because, yeah, somebody could have been doing something behind your back, behind the scenes, um, and I feel like you may have snapped on them. So the way that you surprise and shock people is... Yeah, people think that they're doing shit behind the scenes. They think you don't know. You, they think that you're not going to catch on to it or you're not going to tap into whatever they're doing and you catch on to it. And it's almost like you might have called somebody out and snapped on them. But people are really shocked because you snapped on somebody. You cussed their ass out. And like I said, whatever they were doing, they were trying to do it covertly. They thought they were doing it behind the scenes. They thought they were being slick. They thought they were being sneaky. You know, they thought that whatever they were doing was very, very hidden. And I feel like you guys are very into intuitive and yeah that shocks people and the fact that you snapped on them or somebody or you went in on somebody that shocked them because i feel like somebody was trying to hate on you on the low or behind the scenes almost like you wouldn't be able to pick up on what they were doing all right so somebody is definitely or people are definitely shocked that you snapped on this person because the shit they were doing like i said they thought it was hidden all right I also put that you guys, you typically don't go back and forth. So people are shocked and surprised that you snapped on this person because typically you let people just talk and you let people just run their mouths, okay? You typically don't go back and forth. You typically won't argue or snap on anybody, but this motherfucker had to get it. So people are really shocked and surprised because you really went in on somebody. You really snapped on somebody. And like I said, some of you guys, they did not expect that from you here. Um, some of you guys, they didn't expect it. For some of you guys, the person that you snapped on is shocked and surprised because like i said they thought that what they were saying or doing was hidden okay some of you guys they did something or said something about your child they really thought it was hidden and you went in on them all right but yeah people feel like you typically don't go back and forth pow one never argues so i feel like that person is in the wrong because pow one don't ever snap pow one don't ever act like that so this person had to be in the wrong okay um how do you shock and surprise people Okay, it says you take care of your kids. Yeah, so you shock people not necessarily because you take care of your kids. I don't think it's the fact that your kids are well taken care of that is shocking people. I think it's the fact that you are literally in some type of baby mama or baby daddy drama okay so the person that some of y'all could have been snapping on is your baby mama is your baby father okay somebody that you had kids with for some of you guys i'm hearing uh your baby mother your baby father's family okay so you have to take it how it resonates uh but you actually take really good care of your children but it's almost like you you spare no one you spare no one when it comes to your children you don't care if it's your pam parents you don't care if it's their parents you don't give a fuck you spare nobody when it comes to your kids or children all right um, how do you shock and surprise people? Um, people are really shocked and surprised that you actually receive a lot of envy and hate because you guys seem to be actually on the right path. That you guys seem to be actually on a spiritual journey. So people are surprised when people are basically hating on you because of your spiritual journey. I feel like people only hating on you on your spiritual journey out of jealousy all right but this really shocks and surprises others like damn they got a new hater damn they got another hater damn she hating on her too damn he hating on him too it's like that but people are actually su shocked and surprised um that people are hating on you or sending you negative energy while you're on this spiritual journey here okay um i feel like for some of you guys the people some of the people who are watching you on your spiritual journey, these are some some of the people who are shocked and surprised. And some of these people could also be sending you negative energy because they're jealous, okay? Because a lot of you, I put that you healed a lot and you healed a lot fast. So some of you guys, it's almost like some people are really shocked and surprised that you healed so fast. But at the same time, um, it's like they're jealous, the, the fact that you heal so fast, okay? Some of you guys, it's like they're side-eyeing you. Some of you guys, they don't think that it's genuine is what I'm getting, uh, that you heal so fast. How are you able to heal that in a year? How are you able to heal that in a couple months? It's because you know how to go within, okay? It's not that hard to just go within. Some of you guys are like natural hermits here, okay? So you guys just naturally know how to go within. You're not surrounding yourself with snakes or people who 
I guess, or toxic. So it's easy for you to take off from there. Okay. I always tell people, hey, you'll be able to hear spirit more clear when you get by yourself. All right. When you get away from the people that you've been around, it's not that they're bad people. It's just some of y'all don't like to be alone. Okay. I feel like you guys don't mind to be alone. So you heal very fast. Okay. So some people are surprised and shocked that you receive so much jealousy um, just because your spiritual journey and others of you guys, these are people who are jealous of you that are shocked and surprised to see how fast you heal or how fast you heal of a situation. Some of you guys, this is the fact that you might get mad one moment and the next moment you're like, okay, don't give a fuck. <laughs> and people are like, what the fuck? She was just really mad. Now she seemed like she don't care. He seemed like he don't care. Okay. Uh, people are shocked and surprised because people have really disrespected you and you had to take it there. So some of y'all, somebody disrespected the fuck out of you and you had to take it there. You had to basically put this bitch in her place, put that nigga in their place. Um, <laughs> and people are really shocked and surprised because I guess they think that you're soft. I guess they think that you won't come at them like that. I guess they think that they can come at you any type of way. But if anybody comes at you and they disrespect you, you will put them in their place, okay? I also get the fact that people have tried to crucify you or somebody has tried to crucify you, but you put the motherfucker in a place. I just really think that people thought you were soft and that you wouldn't stand up for yourself or others, okay? Or your children or something like that. But yeah, you really went demon time on somebody and that shocked them, okay? You really snapped on somebody. For some of y'all, I black out so some of y'all you might black out on people if they have you fucked up if they're truly disrespecting you yes you're gonna get in their ass and you're gonna show them something you're gonna be low vibrational to me i'm gonna show you low vibrational real quick and it's like you snap and then you go back to normal you show you put that person in their place you show them who you really are you show them that you're not to be trifled with that you're not to be fucked with and then what you go back to normal you're like okay I'm glad you, you get what I'm saying. And then you go back to normal. Anyway, you good? All right. I'm glad we good. So back to what I was saying. It's like that. So people are like, that bitch just really went in on me for, it ain't, I, it's not even no reason. It's people coming at you, disrespecting you out of jealousy because of your spiritual journey. All right. At the end of the day, they tried to crucify you and you took it there. They started it. You finished it. People are shocked. All right. Um, I also put, you literally don't give a damn. And people just don't expect that. So some of y'all, like I said, it's like you're really cool. You're really calm. You're a super sweet parent. You're super sweet with children. But when somebody try you, you don't give a fuck. I feel like you would take it there. You would say anything. And you would let motherfuckers know that you are not playing with them. I just don't think people expect that out of you. Um, I also put that some of you guys, you are very connected here. You guys are connected to aliens, ancestors. Or you guys are really into that type of thing here, okay? Um but that shocks and surprises others all right and i picked up on one state which is ohio and i picked up on a few names sarah ray lily diana andre d dre mookie valencia jefferson jackson rose ryan honor anna taylor carly cornelia o'neill rivera holly alice yasmin castro mary madeline hendrix Lauren or Laura, Denzel, Gio, Jericho, Nehemiah, Hallie or Haley, Benson, and Kev. All right. Um, those names do not necessarily have to match up. That is what I got for you for the channel messages. Let me pull some cards and I will get back to the reading. All right, Power One. So why are others shocked and surprised by you? Power One, people are shocked and surprised by you because you are literally so blessed here, okay? People see that you are very blessed. They see the blessings on your life here. They know that you are highly favored. I'm hearing Cain and Abel here, okay? Maybe some people feel like you're more privileged, that you get more, that you have a stronger connection to God here, okay? And that is where the jealousy is coming from. Like I said in the channel messages, you got a lot of people envying you because of your spiritual journey. People not liking the fact that you're blessed, that you're highly favored, that you're God's favorite, okay? Um, also, the fact that they cannot, like, they don't have anything over you here. Like I said, for some of y'all, people like to make you snap or people have you snap. First of all, they're shocked that you snapping them in the first place. And then secondly, it's almost like I'm for, I'm for real. They really are shocked and surprised that you get over whatever the fuck it is fast. Like, you don't care anymore. They get they are shocked and surprised that they don't have control over you. That's how they know that you're blessed. Like, they might say something or do something to make you snap, and you're just like, yeah, okay. And like I said, you say what you say, and then you move on about your life. 
Um, and that kind of puts them in their place here. People are shocked and surprised by you because, like I said, you're very spiritual. You guys are loners here. You really like to be in hermit mode. You're more so to yourself. I feel like you guys are very quiet. But like I said, you will put somebody in their place. Okay? Some people might have thought that you were very gullible here. But I feel like, like I said, the only reason some people come at you like that is because they think or they thought that you were gullible. At the end of the day, yeah, this is something where they felt bad for or they felt shitty after they did it because you're too quiet they come in at somebody that's too quiet too into themselves too intelligent too much of a free spirit okay and like i said it's like they're trying you all because of your spiritual journey and in the end they end up regretting it okay people are shocked and surprised that you are so mature <laughs> people don't expect you to be mature like i said it's like some people are like trying to pastor you or trying to get you to snap or react a certain type of way you might snap or put them in their place but like i said it's like you instantly forget about it anyway let me go ahead and have my little drink how y'all doing over here it's like people are like damn didn't you just snap on this bitch right here like okay but people are shocked and surprised that you are actually very mature you guys have a very mature mind or you're very mature minded here and that you actually have a lot of control over your emotions here um so like I said, for a lot of you guys, it's really hard to get you to snap, but somebody made you snap real quick. It wasn't like you were dwelling over this. It's not like you were obsessing. For some of you guys, people are shocked and surprised that you don't obsess over shit whenever you are upset. It's like I said, you get mad, you put them in their place, you tell them what's up. Don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to my kid like that, whatever the case. And then you go on about your business. People are like, I definitely don't got no type of power over power one here, okay? People are also shocked and surprised when you moved. Some of you guys moved somewhere. Some of you guys, you've been traveling or you moved to a certain location. Some of you guys, wherever you moved, it was nothing but delays, bad luck. Some of you guys moved somewhere with a karmic or something, or you connected to a karmic. Some of you guys, you moved somewhere with a karmic family member, so you're going to have to take it how it resonates. Um, but people were shocked and surprised that you moved away from this person because they were bringing a bunch of bad luck or when you moved around this person all you did was get a bunch of bad luck shitty shit happening here okay people are shocked and surprised that i feel like some of you guys you got away from some type of karmic masculine here yeah it seems like you guys are very confident okay you guys are beautiful this is your energy fiery females here i feel like some of you guys got rid of this karmic masculine some of you guys were in a relationship with this person uh had a family with this person yeah people are shocked and surprised that you pull back from this person that you breaking generational curses that you don't connect with this person like i said it's something about your kids okay people are shocked and surprised that you you really take care of your kids i'm telling you you speak positive affirmations over your children okay you speak positive affirmations over your family. And this is why you're so blessed here. Any other reason people are shocked and surprised? Yes, people are shocked and surprised that you are actually a giver here. Like I said, you love to give to people when you got it. You are very supportive, um, generous, generous. <laughs> okay, you're a really big help to people. People love to be around you. All right. Because like I said in the past, you guys were in a situation with a karmic, I feel like a karmic masculine. It brought you a lot of bad luck, misfortune, and it seems like you guys are improving, recovering from that. And that shocks and surprises people. Anything else? Yeah, some of you guys, like I said, you had to pull back from somebody and it's like now you got your peace back. Okay. Yeah, somebody was you was connected to. I ain't gonna say they was full on the devil, but they were just toxic as fuck. Obsessive, toxic, low vibrational. I don't know. This person might have had you depressed, or this person could have been super connected to your shadow side. Like I said, when you snap on people as well, this is your energy for a time. Okay? You guys really know how to connect with your shadow self whenever people got you fucked up. Yeah. You guys are very assertive, and when people got you fucked up, you will put them in their place, like I said. That's pretty much what I got for you, because they rude. All right? <laughs> Thank y'all. Love y'all. Bye. Hit that like and subscribe button. So why are other shots and surprise by you? And I did do channel messages for each pie. I'm going to read those off to you guys right now, okay? But pie one, you shock and surprise people because you are... It's something about your relationship. You guys are in a long-lasting relationship 
relationship. I don't think people expected your relationship to last as long as it has been lasting. So some of you guys, I'm hearing two plus years, anywhere from two to 20 years or two to 20 plus years. You take it how it resonates, but people are actually shocked that you and your person or you and this person are actually in a long lasting relationship or you and this person are still together or you and this person were together for so, so long. So you have to take it how it resonates. Okay. Um, now, why are people shocked and surprised by you? Uh, pal, two, some people are shocked and surprised by you because either you or this person that you were in a long committed relationship with, it seems like you or this person could be a little bit sneaky. I don't know. You put the energies where they go, okay? Don't shoot the messenger, okay? But people feel like either you're messaging other people dming other people or your person is messaging or dming other people here okay and this might shock or surprise others because people are like damn i thought that was pal two's boyfriend or damn i thought pal two was with this person they messaging me or they done hit me up so you have to take a high resonance but it's really mainly something about your relationship that shocks others because damn don't they go together i didn't they or some of y'all y'all are in an open relationship some of you guys like i said Y'all just talk to people. I don't know. You have to take it how it resonates. But people are really shocked when they see you in their messages or they see your person in their messages because they know your person belongs to you uh, and that you guys have been together for a good long while here, okay? Um, people are shocked and surprised by you because a lot of you guys, you may have a very, you have like a different hair color here like a colorful hairstyle some of you guys you're wearing different type of hairstyles here and this is like a different type of hairstyle that you typically would get like if you always had your hair short and cut now you have like really long hair really poofy hair some of you guys might wear wigs some of you guys like i said you might have always had long hair or your hair has always been pretty some of you guys you cut your hair you shaved your hair some of you guys you never had dye in your hair now you have all the colors so you're gonna have to take your hair resonates but a lot you guys might have done something different with your hair and people are like i never expected pal two to get a pixie cut i never expected pal two to lock their hair up so you're gonna take it how it resonates but people are definitely shocked and surprised when they see your hair your hairstyle your new hairstyle um now people are shocked and surprised because someone used dark magic to get rid of you or somebody in your family here, okay? This might be something that is talked about. And a lot of you guys, I'm not really sure why, but when I channel and I pick up on the energy of abortions, I don't know why it pops up as black magic to me, okay? So some of you guys, somebody used dark magic to try to get rid of you, aka some of you guys were uh, supposed to be an abortion. Some of you guys, you had an abortion, okay? Some of you guys, this is quite literal, somebody doing that dark magic. So you're going to have to take it how it resonates. Some of you guys, somebody tried to manifest dark energy into your life okay but people are really shocked and surprised especially like i said i put in parentheses abortion for some some people are shocked and surprised that you have had an abortion or that some of you guys were supposed to be aborted here like my sister might pick this pile okay <laughs> um some of you guys, it has something to do with a newborn baby. Like I said, some of you guys, whatever this is, is 20 generations back or 20 years back. But people are really shocked and surprised because some of you, somebody put magic on your bloodline or tried to do magic to a family member of yours. And this is 20 years back. Somebody tried to get rid of you or a baby with dark magic here. And like I said, some of you guys, the dark magic uh, that I keep picking up on is actually an abortion. I don't think people like i don't even want to go there right now i don't even want to talk about that right now but some some people need to know that for some reason when i'm channeling i pick up on abortions being dark magic so you take you do with that information what the fuck you will with it all right um now some people are shocked and surprised because you guys a lot of you guys you may have confronted or called out a racist a pedophile or somebody who was doing some fuck shit but you guys you definitely called this person out some of you guys i'm hearing colorist here but you called them out you confronted them and you didn't give a fuck here okay so people are really shocked and surprised that you were so brave or that you didn't give a damn here okay um a lot of you guys you shock and surprise people with your aesthetic here some of you guys you definitely have a rock star aesthetic or you had a rock star aesthetic when you were young or you were a teenager and people are really shocked and surprised that like i'm trying to speak over them but yeah people are really shocked and surprised that you had this aesthetic about you that you were 
emo, that you were into heavy metal, you take it high. It resonates for some of you guys. Some of you guys, you really like rock music here, but people are really shocked and surprised that you had this aesthetic about you. That you, some of you guys used to wear the goth makeup, you used to dye your hair all black. You take it high. It resonates. Some of you guys, like I said, you really got dressed like a goth. Okay, so you have to take it high. It resonates. But I'm also getting the fact that you are actually so so sweet. So some people, like I said, when you were a teenager, you could have been a little more emo, gothic. Um, into metal, into some certain type of rock music here, but you're actually a sweetheart here, okay? So some people, I don't think they expect you to be a sweetheart, and some people knew that you were a sweetheart, and they didn't expect you to be like a metalhead, or they didn't expect you to be into rock or emo music here, so you have to take it how it resonates. Um, for some of you guys, people are shocked and surprised by you because you really cut your hair, or you might have shaved your hair, or like I said, it's a lot of emphasis on something with your hair, okay? Um, for some of you guys, people are shocked and surprised by you because your de your intuition is definitely on point about something or someone. It's like you're you're very much on point. Like I said, some of you guys, you might have confronted somebody. Um, some of you guys, like you're picking up on what somebody does. You're very intuitive, but you're very on point with what you're saying about something or somebody. And this is shocking and surprising to others because maybe this is information that you shouldn't really know, you shouldn't really have. Because like I said, for some of you guys, this is information from 20 years plus back for some of you guys this is information from shit 20 generations back but you guys are very very intuitive here and like i said some of you guys you called out somebody for being racist like i said um somebody is racist as fuck and you know it and they literally tried to intimidate you but they still didn't break your spirit. So some of you guys called out somebody for trying to be racist or trying to intimidate you or trying to break your spirit because of, like I said, your race. Um, for some of you guys, this would be your skin color. For some of you guys, this would be your, like, your nationality, whatever it is that you do. But at the end of the day, somebody tried to intimidate you because they're a racist. Um, but that shit didn't work. Uh, for some of you guys... Somebody is shocked and surprised that your mom or your dad always defends you, that somebody always takes up for you. For some of you guys, somebody tried to be racist to you or intimidate you. Um, and I feel like your parent or whoever your guardian is or was or whoever really took looked after you or took care of you, this person defended you here, okay? So people are really shocked and surprised that your parents defend you whenever people try to come at you okay some of you guys like i said was going back to your teenage years with your rock star aesthetic somebody's mom is like yeah my kid can do whatever they want you know mind your business they ain't hurting you so you're gonna have to take it how it resonates here and some of you guys people are really shocked and surprised because they feel like that you make strange meals or your mom or your dad somebody makes strange meals and some of you guys this is not the fact that your family makes strange meals. It's literally, somebody thinks that the meals are strange because they're not ethnically connected. Like, some of you guys might eat fufu, African food, Asian food. Some of you guys, you're eating food from your home country or food that your ancestors ate. Some of you guys, I'm here in Chitlin, so you don't have to take it how it resonates. But some of you guys, you guys are very connected to your ancestors. You guys, some of you guys are very traditional. You come from very traditional family. Um, and like I said, some people might think the meals you your family makes is strange, but really it's just cultural. It's something they don't understand because they're not Indian, because they're not African, because they're not Asian, okay? So let them hate, okay? But they're really shocked and surprised that your family eats so differently from theirs or from them here, okay? Now, people are shocked and surprised because, yeah, some of y'all, y'all really shave, like, your eyebrows at one point in time. Some of you guys, you went Britney Spears on people. You shaved your hair, your eyebrows, okay? Some of you guys, like I said, it's like you've been shaving your head, but people are really shocked and surprised when they see that you cut your hair, you shaved your hair, your eyebrows, okay? Um, why are people shocked and surprised by you? Um, people are shocked and surprised because they feel like you don't respect other people's beliefs. You don't respect their religions. You might have mocked somebody's religion. For some of you guys, it's going... What I'm confused at is they talk shit about your culture or they talk shit about the food that your, your, you know, your family comes from. 
but it's like they feel like you mocked their religion or you mocked whatever they believe here so you have to take it how it resonates okay but to me it just seems like you guys are connected to people who are not the same as you spiritually who are not the same as you who you guys have religious differences you have cultural differences here and like let's say you believe in jesus and they believe in i don't know something else anything okay they felt disrespected when you were talking about Jesus. Let's say some of you guys, you were an atheist. It could be fucking anything, bro. All right? But they felt like you don't respect their beliefs or you don't respect their religion. Um, a lot of people are, are shocked and surprised that uh, you talk a lot now, okay? Some of you guys, you could have been very quiet. You could have been mute, like I said. But it seems like you talk a lot or you, I don't know. Um you talk more than you used to here okay and last but not least people are shocked and surprised by you because some of you guys are actually pregnant or some of you guys you could have had a baby all right but people are shocked and surprised by this all right i did pick up on a few places i picked up on indiana russia japan and montana like i said a lot of different cultures especially like russia and japan places like that so for some of y'all it's not the fact that you disrespected their religion. Some of y'all, somebody feel like you mocked their religion. Others of you guys, this, this is the fact that you felt mocked whenever they talked down on your religion or something like that. So you don't have to take it how it resonated. They were shocked that you were basically, that you know, whatever the case, <laughs> that you were offended. All right. Okay, and I did pick up on a few names. We got Sierra, Nas, Raya, Jade, Jessica Davis, Ivan Harris, Cole, John, Lexis, Tracy, Kevin, Faith, Dana, Andrew, Noah, Miguel, um, Emily, Gilbert, Heather, Libby, Imani, Vincent, Jackson, Brittany, Alexis, Tay, and Alana. All right, so let me pull the cards and yeah. All right, so pile two, people are definitely shocked and surprised that either one, people feel like Somebody stole you from your, this, you, some of y'all were like married or you're going to get married or you in a long time relationship. Like I said, people feel like somebody stole your partner from you. People are shocked and surprised. Like, damn, a person really was in this person's DM and they really do go with this person. It's like people are really shocked and surprised that somebody stole your husband, wife, your fiance, your boyfriend, your girlfriend from you or that you guys broke up and others of you guys people are shocked and surprised that you stole somebody else's man or woman so you're gonna take a high resonates for you here okay um but i'm definitely getting like people are really shocked and surprised and it has something to do with the the wifey energy here people are also shocked and surprised that you and somebody don't talk anymore people are shocked and surprised that you and this person that you in a long-term relationship with you guys are literally no contact you guys don't talk to this person anymore for some of you guys like i said you were in a long-term relationship with this person all right but people are shocked and surprised that you're over this person that you are healing from whatever happened between you and this person Okay, people feel like you have really transformed since you pulled back from this person. As of you guys, like I said, clarify surprise. People are surprised that you have went through some type of spiritual awakening. Like I said, there was something, some type of relationship that you were stuck in, some type of toxic connection that you were stuck in. You were married to this person. You were engaged to this person. Or like I said, a long-term commitment with this person. But people are really shocked and surprised. For some of y'all, they're shocked and surprised that this person tried to steal something from you or take something from you here, okay? Um, yeah, for some of you guys, people are shocked and surprised that this person was not stable. Does this person cause chaos in your life? That this person was unorganized? That you were in a toxic relationship? Even though you love this person, that you finally got over this person, okay? For those of you who are in a long-term uh, relationship that was toxic, why are people shocked and surprised by Pow 2? Sorry. So a lot of you guys, you guys are very generous here. I feel like people are shocked and surprised because somebody really tried to steal something from you and they didn't have to do that. You share, okay? Not a lover. I'm getting more so if this is money, like if somebody came towards you and stole something from you money-wise, people are shocked and surprised because they thought this person had money. For some of you guys, people are shocked and surprised that you took something from somebody, that you stole something from somebody because they thought you had money. Mm -hmm, take it, I resonate. All right, but people are really shocked and surprised mainly about 
this relationship or somebody stealing something. Okay? People are shocked and surprised that somebody's trying to avoid you or that you're trying to avoid somebody from after stealing from them or trying to finesse them or trying to uh, steal their man, steal their woman, talk to their man, talk to their woman. Or like I said, this person's trying to avoid you for doing that to you. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? I'm just here to relay the messages, all right? Why are people shocked and surprised by Pile 2? Yeah, people are really, like I said, it's a different scenario for a lot of you guys. People are really shocked and surprised that you got out of this relationship because this person was DMing everybody. I'm hearing for everybody. But now you're getting wish fulfillment. You're getting what you actually deserve. You guys are much better independent. Okay, I'm here. I can do bad by myself. So people are shocked and surprised that you let somebody go because you feel like you could do bad by yourself. People are shocked and surprised that you have so many options when it comes to love here. You let somebody go and now you got a bunch of options in love. All right, anything else? Why are people shocked and surprised by Pow 2? Why are people shocked and surprised? Oops. Yeah, for some of you guys, this is like your in-laws. I'm telling you, some of you guys, you were in a really committed relationship, married or um, engaged or something. Your in-laws are shocked by you. Or the past in-laws, they're really shocked at the fact that you're over them. You don't fuck with them. You don't fuck with their daughter no more. You don't fuck with their son no more. Okay? These are your future. These were going to be your future in-laws. Care for in-laws. Why are people shocked and surprised by you? Yeah. A lot of you guys, you actually um, avoided like some type of tower moment. And I think the tower moment was marrying this I almost called him a piece of shit. All right? Y'all almost got with somebody that was foolish as fuck, immature as hell. Some of you guys, like I said, you're in a long-term commitment, a relationship with this person. But like I said, people are shocked and surprised that you're over this person, that this is a thing of the past here, and that the past no longer has, like, any type of hold on you here, okay? Why are people shocked and surprised by Pow 2? Yeah, okay. Your in-laws, like I said, your ex-in-laws or your in-laws. Some of you guys, you could be still married to this person. Anyway, your in-laws are shocked or surprised that you are coming off so cold to them. That you don't have no fucking love for them. That you ain't got no love for their son or their daughter. That your feelings, all that love that you have for them, they, they went out the window. You, you don't care to be nice. You actually seem kind of cold-hearted towards them. Your in-laws seem to be shocked and surprised that you are more so of a hermit that you more so like to stay to yourself <laughs> but they're shocked because like i said i feel like these people tried to make you a victim and i feel like you guys had to make a, a judgment call on them i feel like you guys are naturally giving supporting loving but it's something that these people did or something that their son or daughter did where you're like fuck you and your family i don't want to deal with none of y'all all right. Why are people shocked and surprised by a pile too? Mainly, I feel like your ex lover or this person that you are or were in a committed relationship with, this is the person that's shocked and surprised by you, and so is their family. Okay? These people are shocked and surprised by you because within a few months, there's something that you're going to be doing, and they're going to be very much in your business. All right? So these people are shocked and surprised by you because either one, you are back doing your damn thing within a few months and within a few weeks of breaking up with this person because they were in everybody's DMs, everybody's messages, um, and they were being nosy as hell, and they did not expect you to be doing your thing so fast. Others of you guys, they're going to be seeing you doing your things within a few weeks or a few months, and please believe that their friends and family members, mainly their family members, are nosy as fuck, Okay? Their family members are controlling, and I feel like their family members are damn near a coven. And I don't think they actually sit there and say they're witches or practice witchcraft, but I think their energy is strong enough. And I almost feel like their family is controlling, and their family basically wants you in their life. Even though, even though they know that their son or daughter is toxic. Y'all about to found new love. Some of you guys, you already found new love. They were being nosy as fuck, and they seen that you got a new partner, a new boyfriend, new girlfriend, new husband, new wife, and it only happened within a few months or a few weeks. Oh, well. Other of you guys, like I said, they're being nosy. They're trying to figure out if you got a new lover. 
they're shocked and surprised or they will be shocked and surprised to find out that you do or by the time they trying to be nosy on your ass you will all right anything else why are people shocked and surprised by pile two yeah so anything that you do anything that you touch it's good, okay? Uh, I feel like a lot of you guys are very intuitive. For some of y'all, this is their family being intuitive. Uh, their very family is very intuitive, and their family knows that you are a prize. Their family knows that you are about to move forward with a new love, and them and their family knows that they have nothing to offer. This is why they're being so nosy. This is why I feel like I'm hearing for some of y'all, they're trying to convince this person to hit you up or to try to get back with you. But y'all already got somebody new or you're about to get somebody new. For some of you guys, it has something to do with this person wanting your money here, okay? Or wanting your wealth or some shit like that. Yeah. For a lot of you guys, this um these people are like really in denial. They want to know hidden shit about you. I feel like they're like kind of becoming off balance. Trying to figure out like what's in your bank account. What's what you got going on at home. Like they really want to find out hidden information about you. Some of you guys, your ex is in denial that you have really moved on. That you really done with them. But hell, their family and them are shocked or going to be shocked and surprised when they realize you got new love. That you ain't worried about them. All right, so that's pretty much what I got for y'all. Hope it resonates. Thank you. Why are people shocked and surprised by you? Uh, now, pal, three people are shocked and surprised by you because you guys may have had a lost weight surgery. Some of you guys, it doesn't necessarily have to be surgery. Some of you guys, you literally lost a good amount of weight in a short amount of time, okay? I feel like you really applied yourself. And others of you guys, like I said, you might have had some type of weight loss surgery. But I'm definitely seeing the fact that people are shocked and surprised about the weight that you have lost. And for some of you guys, this is the fact that you gained weight. But it's, an, it's just actually in a good way here, okay? Um... Now, people are shocked and surprised to find out that you are an alchemist and that you do word magic here, okay? So, whatever you say, if you say anything, like let's say you say, people used to do this to me all the time, like in sixth grade. You like him. You really like him. And I'm like, I don't like him. And then before you know it, I'm like, wait, do I like him? I might kind of like him. It's like that, okay? That shit used to work on me in sixth grade, all right? But some of you guys, it's like you could tell somebody, like, you could speak shit over people's life. You could tell people certain things. Some of you guys, people might find you to be kind of manipulative with your words here, okay? Um, but people feel like you are an alchemist and that you do word magic. A lot of you guys, people know the fact that you, <laughs> that you really know how to transmute energy. Because I was just thinking about um, it earlier. I know this girl is spitting evil eye at me. And usually I'd be like, get the fuck out of my energy or I fucking hate people or bruh, leave me alone. That's usually how I am when I know somebody's in my energy. Bro, lately I I've been know I know when somebody's in my energy. Every time that girl pop up in my head, I, I it it tickles me. I'm giggling here. Um, so a lot of you guys need to know that when people are in your energy, you're transmuting their energy because you might be sending me the evil eye, but that shit ain't working on me. I actually find it very funny that you think you can hate on me or that you think we on the same level or that you think anything. It's like that, like that shit really be tickling me and I'm damn near changing the energy here. You spin evil eye at me. I'm taking on that energy and I'm laughing at your ass. And now you got me over here having good luck. You got me over here feeling good. Okay. It's like that. So people are really shocked and surprised that maybe people send you negative energy or like i said they try to bring you down in some sort of way and you know how to flip it around even if you're not necessarily laughing at it even if you're not necessarily turning it into money money energy whatever you're doing just keep doing you it's almost like you're damn near not pressed by people all right and that is shocking and surprising to other people here okay it's almost like some of you guys you flip it around on them oh yeah pound three is gonna be like this and then as soon as you hear that i'm not gonna be like that that's you and i promise you it's going to be it's almost like you're speaking shit on people People, but you definitely do word magic pal three um others are shocked and surprised by you because some of you guys you actually could be married to somebody or you could deal with somebody who is in the military the marines the police the SWAT team or some of you guys you could be in this uh in these types of jobs um others of you guys it's not necessarily those jobs it could be like some type of government job but people are really shocked and surprised to see either you or your partner working whatever this is they do some of you guys i'm here firefighter okay um, how, how do you shock and surprise other people? 
um, you start to surprise other people because you were in a relationship with a real fuck boy or a fuck girl did not, did not value you. So some of you guys, I don't think people expect you to ever allow like anybody who is not going to treat you right in your energy. I don't think people like expected that from you, but you know, every, every play, you know, got to get played one time. All right. So some of you guys, you actually allowed a fuck boy or a fuck girl in your energy. I feel like it was unrequited love. They didn't value you they didn't care about hurting your feelings they did not give a fuck and this really shocked or surprised other people i feel like a lot of you guys this is past energy some of you guys like i said for some of y'all it's not the fact that this person is in a, some of y'all it's not that they are in these government jobs for some of you guys they belong to the government for some of you guys this is somebody that is in prison or in jail okay so some of y'all people are shocked and surprised that you were in a relationship with a fuck boy or a fuck girl that did not value you at all like i said whether they are actually the marine the police officer the swat team leader whatever the case or they're just in the military or they're just in jail okay but People are really shocked and surprised that you allowed this person to basically come into your life and not value you. All right. Now, if you have had any type of locks um, or braids, people are shocked and surprised that you took your locks out or your braids out or some type of hairstyle that you had. But people are shocked and surprised that you took this hairstyle out. You might have cut it out. You take it how it resonates, um, especially if you are in the military or something like that. Yeah, you definitely probably cut your hair off or this person did. All right. Um, people are shocked and surprised that you might actually have very bad anxiety. Um, people are shocked and surprised for some of you guys, you actually take medication for anxiety. Um, and others of you guys, it's not the fact that you take medication for anxiety. People are, know that you have anxiety and they are shocked and surprised to know that you have healed yourself or that you are actively healing yourself from anxiety. So you're going to have to take it how it resonates. People look at you like the life of the party and they're like, there's no way Pal 3 has anxiety. All right. There's no way Pal 3 takes medication for anxiety. I never knew. What? I remember Pal 3 used to have anxiety, and now they see healed. What's up with that? It's like, it's going to be different for all y'all, but people are really shocked and surprised to find out that you have or that you did have anxiety. Um, people are also shocked and surprised. Um, some of you guys, you actually might make clothes with crochet. You might you know, sew, needle and thread here. Some of you guys, it's not nece necessarily crochet clothes. Um, some of you guys, you may have crochet in your hair. So you take it how it resonates, but people are really shocked and surprised that you are really skilled in this manner. Um, now, for some of you guys, somebody called you a snitch. <laughs> so people are shocked and surprised that some of y'all, somebody called you a snitch. Somebody think that you're a snitch here. Especially if you have been in jail, somebody called you a snitch or they called your partner a snitch. Um, some of you guys, like I said, somebody just called you a snitch, all right? People are shocked and surprised that somebody called you a snitch. Uh, for some of you guys, people are shocked and surprised to know that you have a famous parent or there's somebody in your bloodline that is very famous or going to be famous here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, very well-known, legendary, doesn't necessarily have to be worldwide famous. This could be famous within your city, town, state, school. You take it how it resonates, but people are really shocked and surprised like, wow, um, Pal 3, that's your mom, that's your dad? Dang, they beat the world record at this school. You know, you have to take it how it resonates. But your parent or somebody that took care of you is famous in some sort of way here, okay? Now, people are really shocked and surprised because somebody accused you and two other people of something, okay? And this person that accused you of something... I feel like somebody accused you of snitching. Because some of y'all, you're not really a snitch, but somebody accused you of this, okay? Somebody accused you and two other people of something. It could have been the snitch scenario. For others of you guys, it could be different scenarios here, okay? Because I also picked up on the fact that somebody could accuse you and somebody else of giving them an STD. Somebody could have accused you and somebody else of doing some fuck shit you didn't do, okay? It's basically what I'm trying to say, all right? Um, and this person that accused you of doing whatever they accused you of doing, this person really, really, really thought that you were really doing whatever they accused you of doing. And the reason that they accused you of doing this, or they really thought whatever they accused you of doing that you really did it, is because the two other people that were being accused as well actually were doing the shit. And it's almost like you were actually oblivious to what was happening or what this person or what these people were doing. Uh, um, they basically said it was you. They tried to set you up. 
So they said, did you know Pal 3, this person and this person does this? Or I was fucking with Pal 3, this person and this person. They gave me an STD. Pal 3 did this and this person and this person did this. Okay, in all actuality, Pal 3, you were oblivious. <laughs> you were oblivious to whatever was happening. And these other two people who are also being accused... They basically put you in it. They set you up when they, they actually were the ones that do, did it, okay? So, I'm getting... They ended up getting in trouble, and that shit was a major backfire. Two people tried to set you up. They got you looking like you did something to somebody, or they had it looking like you did or said something to somebody when you did not do anything, okay? Um, And I feel like that backfired on people. So, people are shocked and surprised to know that somebody lied on you. Two people... Who were being accused of doing something that you were being accused are actually the ones that were doing it okay they tried to set you up or they tried to make you look some type of way For some of you guys i'm actually hearing prostitution there's two prostitutes you could have been cool with these people or knew these people and they tried to accuse you of being a prostitute and so or you could have been friends with them family members you take it high resonate okay it don't have to be that scenario for all y'all but yeah two people that actually were in on something tried to make you take the blame for it basically and you were oblivious as fuck and people are shocked and surprised that these people really did that shit like why did you do that why would you try to make pal three take the blame for some shit they wasn't even a part of when you really do that okay um but that shit backfired um people are shocked and surprised by you because um, either one, they feel like somebody was asking you some type of mysterious questions or they felt like you were asking mysterious questions about something here, okay? Or they got asked mysterious questions, okay? And for some of you guys, people are shocked and surprised by you because you could have went to jail for something. Or like I said, somebody went to jail for something. I just feel like somebody tried to set y'all up and they ended up getting fucked up in the end, all right? Last but not least, people are surprised uh, by you because you can actually sing and... I'm also getting, yes, you guys were connected to a diagnosed narcissist. Like, this person takes medicine. For some of y'all, it's not the fact that they have, you have anxiety. It's the fact that for some of y'all, you might have, like, narcissism. You take it how it resonates if you actually take medicine. Like, whatever this is, this is diagnosed. But for some of you guys, this is more so people are shocked and surprised that you were with somebody who is a known narcissist or a diagnosed narcissist, okay? Um... And you're actually very shy and you have anxiety. So you have to take it how it resonates. All right. Now, the cities, the states that I got, I got Idaho, Nashville, Cali, Louisiana, New York, China, and New Zealand. And I did pick up on a few names. We got Lawrence, Zoe, Paul, Jamie, Robert, Nathan, Naomi, Danielle, Armani, Lisa, William, Javon, Jessica, Lauren, Rhea, Monse, Megan, Michael, Desmond, Tia, Palmer, Mimi, Eric, Tika, Dominic, Breland, Danny, and Jante. All right. So let me actually pull the cards. All right, pal three. So people are definitely shocked and surprised to see that in the past, some of y'all might have went to jail in the past. I keep getting guilty cards. Some of you guys, you might have went to jail in the past for stealing something, okay? Some of you guys might have had sticky fingers in the past. Yeah, people are shocked and surprised by this. Others of you guys, people are definitely shocked and surprised that somebody end up, somebody in your family um, is in jail or is in prison. But it's a lot of emphasis on the justice system and somebody being in jail. Some of you guys, people are shocked and surprised that you were publicly intoxicated at one point in time, okay? Or like I said, this person that you were connected to or this person that you were with was in jail or in, is in prison, okay? But all I know is somebody stole something and people are shocked. Whether they stole it from you or you were the thief, I don't know. People are definitely shocked and surprised here, okay? Um, but people are shocked and surprised that you, that you actually are on your shit here, okay? A lot of you guys are empresses. Some of you guys, people are shocked and surprised to know that your mother went to jail, that your mother's in jail. So you're going to take it how it resonates. But yeah, it's something about jail, okay, or somebody being found guilty, but people are shocked and surprised. Clarify the crown chakra. People are shocked and surprised that you are definitely moving within your life purpose, okay? And that you are very spiritual here. Some of you guys, you used to, like I said, have sticky fingers in the past. And now you are very spiritual, okay? The sticky fingers are a thing of a past. But maybe this is something people talk about. And others of you guys, like I said... People are shocked and surprised that you're actually moving within your life purpose, that your crown chakra is open, that you are divine feminine here, okay, that you are very beautiful. People are shocked and surprised that you are abundant, 
For some of you guys, people are shocked and surprised to know that somebody stole a shitload of something from you, okay? An abundance of something from you, or that you stole an abundance of something from somebody here, okay? So you got to take it how it resonates here, all right? People are shocked and surprised to know that you are a healer here. Like I said, for some of you guys, this thief energy is not your energy. This thief energy is like an old friend, lover, or family member's energy, okay? And others of you guys, it is your energy, <laughs> so some of you guys you need to forgive yourself for allowing a thief into your energy and others of you guys you need to forgive yourself fully for i don't know shit you did in the past you know still ain't going to jail you take it how it resonates here but people are shocked and surprised because some of y'all you overthink about whatever this is a lot or you overthink about this person a lot here okay but people are shocked and surprised to know that you are actually a healer here and that you are actually quite good at what you do and that you guys are actually blowing up or that you guys you went through this sudden awaken and now you it's like now you don't have to steal or now you didn't steal for, for those of you that actually stole. Others of you guys, it's not the fact that you were stealing. Like I said, now somebody can't steal from you or take something from you. Okay, but people are shocked and surprised. No matter what the scenario is. People are shocked and surprised that you have blown up a lot. Like I said, a lot of you guys, you have went through a spiritual awakening. Your crown chakra is open. It's like you went through a sudden change. One moment, you could have been in karmic energy. And then the next moment, you're like... You know what? I'm tired of this. I'm going to become more spiritual. And you did that here, okay? So people are shocked and surprised that you actually are, are very skilled at what you do, that you have become more spiritual here. A lot of you guys, you're really good at the job that you have. People are shocked and surprised. Some of you guys, you used to steal, okay? People are shocked and surprised that you don't steal anymore. Like I said, you have a job. Others of you guys, I don't know who I'm talking to, all right? Why are people shocked and surprised by Pal 3? Yeah, I'm telling you. Some of y'all used to live a double life. Some of you guys, you people might still think you live a double life. Like one moment you're a healer, the next moment you're stealing. All right. The next moment you're in jail. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. But people are shocked and surprised that you actually. It's not that you live a double life. I feel like you're like balanced. Okay. Yeah, you're very intuitive, but also your crown chakra is open. So people are, are shocked and surprised that you're intuitive, but you used to steal in the past. Or you're intuitive, you stole somebody man in the past. You're intuitive, you stole somebody wife in the past. You're intuitive, you literally stole somebody's material wealth in the past. You take it out, resonate. I promise you, I'm not judging y'all. This is just funny. You're you're intuitive, but for some of y'all, it's not necessarily that you stole anything. This is like literally they're talking about a family member of yours like man her brother still man her uncle still her cousin steals bruh her family be stealing like people are shocked and surprised that you got a lot of family members who are in jail or i'm hearing gangster okay gangsters don't dance they lean with it rock with it so some people are shocked and surprised to know that you are actually a divine feminine but you come from a family of prisoners thugs people in the military people in jail you come from a family of savages for some of y'all but people are shocked and surprised to know that you are actually very sensitive and like i said others of you guys you were in this energy in the past okay you used to steal in the past okay so like i said just take it how it resonates um nobody's exposing y'all i love y'all to death you know what i'm saying y'all good because this is definitely letting me know this is past energy okay some of y'all if you're still in this energy i would definitely get out of this energy or i would stop watching my channel because i can't help but what i i can't help what i pick up on okay so for those of you who are still into stealing thievery just be careful okay some people are shocked by this and you are self-sabotaging okay some of you guys if you are into stealing you steal people's work you steal people's money you steal people's men you're into that i'm gonna take her man this is why you're depressed okay sorry um and others of you guys like i said this is like what people in your family have done or what you used to do in the past. But people are shocked and surprised to see that you're actually a very sensitive person, that you're actually a divine feminine, even though this is what your family is into. People are shocked and surprised to know that you are actually an entrepreneur and that you're good at what you do. People are shocked and surprised to know that you are in the divine union. I'm telling you, for some of y'all, somebody wants to steal your man. I'm telling you, some of you guys... People are shocked and surprised to know that somebody tried to steal your man, your woman here. You guys are in a divine union. Some of you guys, 
people are shocked and surprised to know that you like to try to steal people's men or women and people might think that you're a little bit off your rocker here that you try to sabotage relationships and that's not for everybody i'm literally feeling two energies either you are the thief you were the thief or your family is a thief and you're actually a divine feminine and people are just shocked that damn that's your family they ain't they gangsters or two like i said you're actually in this energy you plot on i know i know a bitch that really plot on people's men and she think that shit cute but the bitch is really off off balance all right um so people are shocked it's almost like that type of energy people are shocked and surprised to know that you know somebody targeted your man or you targeted somebody's person people are shocked and surprised to know that you and somebody broke up because somebody was targeting you or your person all right but that's pretty much what i got for y'all hope it resonates don't shoot the messenger love y'all thank y'all and bye